Venom Let There Be Carnage is still scheduled for this fall as of right now, so details are bound to hit the internet sooner rather than later. Which brings us to today's topic because it looks like J.K. Simmons' return in Venom 2 has officially been confirmed. So this info was recently discovered by a synopsis discovered on My View Cinema, where they have a pretty lengthy synopsis and breakdown of everything that's happening with the sequel. That of course includes the entire cast. So in there, they list the obvious ones we already know about, Woody Harrelson, Tom Hardy, and Michelle Williams. But then right there alongside of them, they confirm that J.K. Simmons, who's credited for Justice League, Whiplash, and Spider-Man Far From Home, will also be included. Just in case you were wondering or thinking that it could be another J.K. Simmons and this isn't true, well, it is him. Now, this goes hand in hand with things he's recently said about seeing different versions of J. Jonah Jameson in different films and that he has multiple appearances that he's doing. So between this... Morbius, the upcoming third Spider-Man film, the last Spider-Man film, it looks like we can expect to see J. Jonah Jameson pretty much everywhere. Now, it should be noted that in this universe, wherever Venom and Morbius takes place, it looks like it's not the uh, same version that we saw last time from Spider-Man, because the Daily Bugle newspapers are still out, so evidently he's still going to be involved with that business, unless it's a sort of double or triple down, where maybe they'll pull in the podcast element as well, which would be kind of fun and cool. But either way, I think this is another hint towards him having a more prominent role in connecting everything Spider-Man through the multiverse than ever before, and it's even been rumored that he could be appearing in other projects as well, which in my mind, that only could mean the likes of Kraven and probably Silk, but I guess only time will tell how that goes and what decisions are made and what happens next. But overall, I think this should make most people happy that this film definitely seems to be more connected to things going on with Spider-Man and Morbius than the first one was, because you could largely take that film as a standalone thing, and it doesn't have to connect to anything. This, this definitely confirms they're setting up things or pieces to pay off down the road. <laughs> 